Hello my lovelies, good morning. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about mornings. Why are mornings so important? Mornings for me are vital, okay? This is my one big magic bullet. Uh, it becomes, you know, there are a lot of things that I do which I believe in to, uh, to create discipline, um, which means that you can, you, you can be a creative leader, but I don't think really anything is more important than what you do in the morning. There's a, there's a quote that I really love by a guy called Randy Gravitt, who said that the morning is the rudder of the day, and I love that idea. <clears throat> it's what you do in the morning that steers your course through the rest of the day. Um, think of, I've got a MacBook Pro, right? I'm sure you've got a MacBook Pro. Having a MacBook Pro is no big deal. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's, we take these things for granted now. It's an incredibly sophisticated machine if you look at what it can do. And yet, does it get up and go straight away? No, it doesn't. Those things take a while to wake up. Anything between sort of 15 and 30 seconds, depending on what your model you've got. Even the Retina ones do that. Now, you think Apple couldn't have designed it in such a way that it just goes bang? You press a button and sort of like everything's working? Yeah, for sure, they could have done that. But, uh, but they didn't. Obviously, the computer needs some time to get some internal alignment to make sure each program and each system is talking to the appropriate other programs and systems um, so that it, it, it can work optimally. And for me, my mental software is no different. Uh, for me in the mornings, what I need to do is I need to get up. I get up early. I'm one of these ridiculous early morning people. Um, if I can, I, I'm up at 4.30. Well, actually, let's be honest, right? I'm awake at 4.30. I'm not necessarily up at 4.30. I'm awake at 4.30. Um, and what do I do? You know, I mean, without wanting to be too scatological, it takes a trip to the bathroom. Um, I've got this... <laughs> I wasn't going to share this, but I will. It's like, you know, for me, coffee is really important. Um, and... Um, I, uh, I keep some uh, instant coffee in the bathroom. So what I do is I just, I just put some in a cup and I've just run some warm water on it or hot water. I don't boil water or anything like that. I just turn the tap on, get some hot water in there, gulp it down and ka -ting, it's got me immediately woken up. Um, so that's a nice short hack for you. You don't actually have to wait for the, you know, the, the kettle to boil or the coffee maker to come on. You just mainline that good stuff. And that gets me motivated to do the rest. You know, typically what I do in the morning is uh, I make sure I hydrate. Uh, I make sure I have something to eat. Um, I know my mood changes significantly once I've had something to eat. Um, uh, for me, I do prayers um, and that's important for me. Um, before it was a spiritual ritual, it's now moved to something that's more religious. I don't think it matters what you do so long as you've got something that aligns you with something bigger than yourself, a bigger vision. You know, I do that to, 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 to get out of my head um, and to think about what I want to accomplish that day. I also use a planner now, and I can highly recommend the Brendan Burchard High Performance Planner, uh, Brendan being the Ned Flanders of personal development. Um, that's, you know, that's so good because that really helps me get intentional. You know, one thing that I believe is that when I wake up in the morning, I've got a limited amount of focus, I've got a limited amount of attention, and I've got a limited amount of um, uh, discipline, right? And I, and I don't want to squander those things. So that's why I don't go on Facebook, I don't go on social media. If, you, if there's one thing that just nixes attention and, and, and intention, it's browsing, right? Because browsing, you're constantly having to make a decision of whether you're going to look at this and whether you're going to look at that. So that is um, kryptonite uh, for attention. So I get up, I make sure that I'm hydrated, I have something to eat, I go and exercise, right? Brain, 2% of the, is it 2% of the body's weight? It's, it's something like 2% of the body's weight takes 20% of the body's oxygen. Something like that, it's remarkable. So get, going out for a walk um, or any kind of exercise is really, really important. Um, I'm in 12-step recovery, as most of you know, so a lot of the time I, try, I get to a meeting, my favorite meetings are morning meetings, um, because after that, I've, I've got out of self. I've turned my mind to something that's a little higher than me, 
maybe I've had the opportunity to help some people, which is a great way to get out of self. Um, and then I can be super intentional about what it is that I want to accomplish in that day. And those things, I, I, write, them in my, um, I write them in my planner, so I know, when, I know what I'm going to be doing and when. And then when it's all out in paper in front of me, then I can relax, okay? Because the, you know, the hard work's done, I can just sit back and I can just do what it is that I have to do. So that's why I believe mornings really are the most, you know, getting your morning straight is the most important thing that you can do on a daily basis. I believe a morning ritual is the magic bullet. Um, I will be doing some more of these videos. So if you've got any suggestions about something that you'd like to hear about in terms of creative leadership, in terms of writing treatments, in terms of maintaining motivation, in terms of keeping disciplined, let me know, drop a, a drop, send me a text message, send me a, uh, uh, send me a note, or just drop a, drop a comment in the, uh, in the feed below.